at the very top of that schematic where you see the primary and the secondary winding, we see a connection and we'll see that with the ohmmeter. We see where that secondary winding terminates at one end on the spark plug, on the other end, typically at the primary, with the source of the primary. Now, that can all be checked, 1.5 ohms, it might be 0 0.5, 0 0.6, doesn't matter. We're looking for an open circuit or hundreds of ohms. That would be abnormal, and that would be a coil that would not fire, and there'd be no spark at all, and definitely DTCs and so forth for that cylinder measuring between the secondary output and one of those primary terminals, which we'll do on the bench next, that's gonna be several thousand ohms we're measuring the secondary resistance of the winding. And then thirdly, we're gonna make sure we don't have any shorts between either primary terminals and chassis ground. That should not be there, so that's the case. Now, a little course of uh, buyer beware, if you will, tester beware. I'll talk about this in the hands-on bench portion. There are sometimes a replacement of that little jumper between the primary and the secondary with a diode. Sometimes like a Zener diode, it takes, let's say, 70 volts to jump across. Therefore, you may see resistance several thousand ohms when you move your meter one way, reverse the lead, you see OL, or you just don't see anything.